Got me one finally. We'll fillet this thing and set up a little camp and uh, we'll fillet this thing and eat it. Pretty good size. Not a monster, but big enough. All right. Got our fish. We're going to put him right here and then we're going to set up a little spot right here to do some cooking. All right. I'm going to have a little fun put my put my tarp up. This is one I wore at the Wilderness Survival, I meant the Wilderness Skills Group camp out. I really had a good time with those guys. All those guys were great, every one of them. <clears throat> Got strings all over here. I think, it's, I think it's longer this way. I got a tire in it. I got to fix that tire. Show you underway a lot. I'm gonna have to fix that little tear I got in it. I must have got it last weekend. I'm sure somebody can comment and tell me what to do. Fix that. Alright. Brought my mallet today. Probably know I'm not. Okay. Let's see here. Need to get this fish filleted first. Get my.
get my bucket. I need to get a, something to fillet it on. Kind of old burnt piece of wood. I'm gonna have to use this knife today. I had a fillet knife last time we caught one. Whoop. Easy boy. It's a little tough with a knife this big, but uh, we're gonna make do. I don't want to mess none of the meat up. Don't want to catch it, kill it without using it all. This one's here's a little more lively than the one down at the creek that day. Getting the guts and all out of this one. Going right down that backbone. A lot of people, I mean, if he was in a survival situation, he'd probably just chop his head off, you know, and get all the nutrients, but this right here. It's better to fry in my little skillet. And those other, those fish are jumping out there. Go around this rib cage. Careful, I don't want to get no bone. I'll wash that out in a minute. Throw that, in the, throw that out there for the turtles and the catfish. They love that stuff. I'm going to have to go down to the water and wash my hands when I get through. Need my fillet knife. Getting into that backbone a little bit too much. I gotta make one like Carolina Chris did. Just a small one to keep in your pack. And it's nice long and it's long and thin. It'll go all the way through these fish. He had a great idea by doing what he did. I think he had the same problem I, I'm having right this minute. I'm getting it. I ain't got to cut the rib cage out of this one. I don't want to get none of them bones in here though. Flip him over. Get that skin off. Okay, we'll wash that up, fry it up. Get I'll some, wash this off. Get quick. some water in my canteen. Wash this fish a little bit. Don't want to get that on my deer hide. Duh. Squeeze that, squeeze it a little bit, that mud, that river water mud comes out. Old man taught me that uh, with catfish. You could squeeze it and the mud comes out, like the old river mud. I'm 
It looks pretty good though. It's pretty clean now. Alright. Right, Gotta get find my hanky cooking stuff out. We just use the gas today. We always, every time we, uh, we're gonna heat water first, then we're gonna cook the fish because every time we do this, I set the fish over and get it cold. And uh, so today we're gonna do it right. We'll make us some coffee and we'll make us some, uh, uh, I got some kind of a, some kind of beans or something that I was going to cook with it. Of course, I'm going to put jalapenos and cheese and all on that. So, anyway. wonder how many strikes it's going to take. Was that two or three? Anyway, let's get the canteen cup on there. Okay, get the lid. And we'll get the, uh, Keep getting in the wrong bag. We'll get this out. I, th I think I got that. Uh, this is. I think that other stuff's over there. Uh, rustic tomato herbs. I think it's some kind of beans or something. But let's see. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's got macaroni and a bunch of sauces in it. So we'll we'll do that. I got me some jalapenos here to put in my fish. I think I'll just go ahead and set them over here on it. And then when I get my skillet going, we'll have them. I'll get my skillet out. Whoop. We'll have everything ready today. Put a little oil on it. On the skillet. Boy, it's pretty down here today. Woo! Fish jumping. They don't want to jump when I'm trying to catch them. Let's see. I'm going to have to put more coffee into this thing. It was really low. I think it may be the last one. Watch next time we do a video. No, I won't have any because I'll forget. Maybe I can make a note to my phone or something. Okay. Get my cook coops. So I got my. My noodles ready. My oil's in my skillet. So everything should be ready. Maybe. I'll go ahead and... Well, I ain't gonna put the fish until my grease gets hot. Thanks for being down here with me today, though. I really enjoy I'm sure y'all gonna make fun of my tarp configuration, but it's working good for me for this afternoon. I've watched a thousand videos on how to put one of these up. It just, uh, I guess when you're filming, you're trying to look good. So, uh, so don't, don't take a demonstration from me to how to put one up, but it will keep me dry and it's nice if it was raining. Okay. I think we're getting a good bowl.
Ooh. Coffee. Put this in there. Okay, maybe that. Hope that soaks all that up. We're gonna set this over here. Remember, we're gonna clean the skillet when we get through. So we'll set it right over here. Turn this down just a little. Get it hot, get that grease hot. I better get my glove just in case that skillet starts getting warm. It's a little bit crooked. I mean, a little bit. I want my grease to. Set pretty even in here. Not too bad. I think it's getting hot. The last time I did this, it sizzled, didn't it? Need to wash that out a little bit. I don't want raw fish in there, so put a little of that in there. Cause I'm gonna put my food in it when I cook it. Last time I was doing that, the grease got off the skittle a little bit. And Oh, shoot. I ain't wasting that. Can't keep it on the skillet today. Got some grass in there. Looks like maybe that's just the part of the jalapenos. <clears throat> I want to get a little bit of brown on the fish. The jalapeno thing is in the way. Looks pretty good though. fun way to spend a early morning. Breaking up today. I think last time I had to skillet hotter. Alright, I think we're good. That fish is already real flaky, so I think I'm real good. That looks great.
and get all that brown. All right. Let's fix that skillet real quick. I know everybody says, don't put hot water on it. This is hot water. Need to be eating instead of cleaning skillets, don't it? It just makes it easier. To go ahead and clean it, because I'm lazy and I'll end up not uh, cleaning it. I don't mind having oil on it, I just want all this fish on it. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Okay, got my fish. And this stuff here is thickened up. It's like a, it's got hamburger meat and noodles in it, I think. It's pretty good. Mmm. That is good. Got coffee. This is for Carolina Chris. I got jalapenos on there. And put a little bit of this on there for my buddy Carolina Chris. Mm. Called it 20 minutes ago. Now I'm eating it. Those brim are all puddling up in the middle of the pond all day just eating on top of those hand-sized brim. I don't know why they do that during the winter like that, but you can just throw a, a fly on a cork or a rooster tail out there and usually catch them. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining me down here this afternoon. Uh, don't make too much fun of my the way I got my tarp set up, but uh, I'm learning. But uh, I enjoy uh, you guys, uh, you know, joining me in these little adventures that I go on. I'm just here at the lake down below the house. Uh, but uh, remember, keep things in order in your life. Keep God first, then your family, and everything else will just line up. Okay, I promise you, that's the way it works. But anyway, thanks for being here. Wish you was here so you could have a cup of coffee with me, fish, eat some fish with me. But. I know it's not possible all the time for everybody, but anyway, Creek Camper out.